All right, guys, now we're going to go inside. We're going to split the brain in half. And what I want you to see before I cut it all the way in half is this is your optic chiasma. This is where they were formed here. Okay, and we're gonna slice all the way down your spinal cord so that we have this in half. And you can see then the inside of what our brains look like. This is the, even though this is a sheep brain, it is identical pretty much to the human brain, okay? So let's take a look. So now this is the inside of your brain, okay? If you look at it from this view, here's your cerebellum and your cerebrum. Now we're looking inside the brain. This structure here, this white mass, the white mass is inside of our brain or outside of our brain is considered to be gray matter. This is the white matter. This is what we call the corpus callosum. The corpus callosum connects the two halves of the brain. If you look at both halves, you have the corpus callosum on both halves of the brain. It connects the two halves and allows them to communicate back and forth. So there's a couple parts of the corpus callosum, all right? Um, there's the genu, which is uh, in front, there's the fornix, and there's the splenium. And inside of here is another ventricle. It's called the lateral ventricle, all right? It's covered by a little mass called the septum pellucidum, which is in there. All right, so here were your optic nerves. Like we said, they came over your optic chiasma. You can now see inside your superior and inferior colliculi, your fourth ventricle, which runs underneath right here, okay? And you have your pons, your medulla. Now you can see your glands a little bit better. This is the pituitary gland. This little, I'm sorry, the pineal gland, the pineal body right there. Um, another gland, this is what we call the massa intermedia, all right, or the hypothalamus. And so again, if you look on the other side, you see the pineal body a little bit more well-defined. Here's your corpus callosum, your lateral ventricle, your septum pellucidum, all the stuff that you saw in lecture, now you're able to see it in the lab. And so you can see what the brain looks like, you can see Inside of the cerebellum, see how it kind of looks like these little trees? This is called the arbor vitae. Arbor, like tree, vitae, life, like tree of life. And so you can see these little um, areas right here and the different areas that we saw in the other um, structures. But the main thing here is this corpus callosum that allows the two halves of the brain to communicate. Um, and if you've ever seen the movie Rain Man, it's an old movie, but this is the structure that he was actually missing um, in that movie and his two halves of his brain were not able to communicate with one another. So this is um, really, really interesting structure right here, okay? So this is the brain, okay? If we put it back together, this is what it looks like together. Here's your different lobes, frontal, parietal, occipital, temporal. You open it up, you have your cerebellum. Here's your spinal cord and that connects right to the, all the way down the vertebral column, your vitae, sorry, your um, vermis of cerebellum. You have all of these structures inside, the corpus callosum, superior inferior colliculi, the different glands, the pineal gland and the pituitary gland. And then think about these optic nerves connecting to your eyeballs. Um, and this is the dissection of the brain that we would have been doing if we were in class. So back up to